Hi, my name is John Liu, and I'm the publisher and editor-in-chief of Beyond the Breakwater and OceansGiftJournal.com. In this video segment, I'm going to be changing my trailer, which has a removable tongue, over to a, uh, an arrangement where the tongue swings away and folds back against the frame. Um, when I bought the trailer in 2000, it had the removable tongue so I could get it inside my garage. Uh, I have a standard 19 and a half foot uh, long garage. The hull is 17 and a half foot, and then with the motor and the rest of the trailer parts hanging off, I basically only have about uh, two or three inches of clearance from the front of uh, the trailer receptacle to the inside of the garage door. Uh, the main problem with this kind of uh, setup, though, is that the tongue itself weighs about 45 pounds, and it's uh, quite a bit of weight to lug around at four in the morning. And uh, over time, I think I'm going to get tired of doing this. I mean, I've been doing it for five years, and now that I'm getting a little bit older, you know, it's a little bit harder in the back. I'm getting lazy. Um, the swing away tongue will basically allow me to uh, swing the tongue in, get the clearance I need, and uh, without having to lug the 45 pounds around. Uh, it'll also set me up so that if I want to change over from the current electric brake setup to a, 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 a hydraulic brake setup a little, a little easier because uh, in the current setup I can't have a, remove, a hydraulic system without some sort of like stainless steel quick disconnect for the brake lines. Um, that's why I use electric brakes on my trailer. But with the swing away tongue, since the tongue never comes away, uh, I could in fact use a, a hydraulic system with flexible uh, hydraulic lines instead of the electric brakes that I currently have now, uh, which, are, which are okay, but they don't get a, a, a lot of stopping power. Uh, but that's, that's another project. So anyway, uh, as part of this pro video clip, I'm going to be showing you uh, the process of removing the tongue. Uh, it turns out that Pacific Trailer, which made uh, my trailer, uh, sells all the components I need to be able to convert to a swing tongue, swing away tongue, uh, right off the shelf. Everything's pre-drilled, so I don't even have to, to get out the, uh, the uh, uh, Craftsman hand drill and, and get ready to bore some holes through steel, which is a lot of work. Uh, all the parts are pre-drilled. With a little luck, this should just be a straight bolt-off, bolt-on kind of installation. But uh, as anybody who has worked around boats knows, that hardly ever happens, especially with something that's been in salt water for a while. Um, I can see right now, for example, that I have some corrosion uh, on some of the bolts and things like that, so it could be tough to take this thing apart. Uh, but we'll see. Um, it's uh, Saturday morning, and with a little luck, I'll be done by Saturday afternoon. Uh, hopefully the same week, but we'll see. All right? So let me show you the trailer, removable trailer tongue assembly as it stands right now. Um, up here in the front, you can see the... Uh, female part of the removable tongue assembly. Uh, this little hole right here is uh, normally filled by this shear pin which goes through and holds the tongue in place. If we look in the back we can see that the tongue assembly, uh, the outer tongue assembly is actually held in place by this single bolt right here. So theoretically all I should have to do everything works well, is remove the uh, winch stand right here, which is held on with two U-bolts, and then take out that bolt in the back, and then the whole assembly should slide right out through here. Uh, of course, anybody that's used bolt, uh, had bolts in salt water know that there's always some problem, and I can already tell that there's probably going to be an issue with taking off the winch stand. Because if we come under here and look, you can see that uh, the U-bolts holding the winch stand to the bottom of the trailer are pretty heavily corroded. So I'm going to try and hit those with uh, some corrosion X or something to help break the, uh, the corrosion on the bolts, and hopefully those will come right off. But, uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm anticipating a hard time of it. So we'll see how that works. But that should be the biggest roadblock to getting that whole assembly out. So this is actually the removable part of the tongue. You can see it's a pretty substantial piece of metal. The tongue uh, in front of uh, the first pin is actually about four, 42 inches long. It's got standard two inch ball coupler, safety chains, and then the uh, controller unit and the backup battery for my electric braking system. Um, this is a Carlisle electric brake, uh, I think they call it the Electrostar, and that's worked out okay on the boat. Uh, stopping power is not quite I, what, what I would have liked. Um, but it's adequate. I mean, the main purpose for brakes in a trailer this size 
is to slow it down should it actually um, get detached from the vehicle. Um, but as far as additional stopping power goes on the trailer, it's sort of minimal. But that's okay. Like I said, it's mainly there for safety purposes. Now the problem, of course, is that the battery and all that stuff basically adds a lot of weight to the tongue. So this whole assembly right now, I'm guessing, weighs about 45 pounds. And uh, like I said, early in the morning, it's a pain in the rear end to be able to put it in and uh, take it out and get it adjusted. So with the swing away tongue, I shouldn't have that problem. Like I mentioned before, the other pieces that go in have already been uh, pre-drilled and cut to the right length by Pacific Trailer. So we should have, it should be just a bolt-in installation. In fact, let me go over here and I'll show you the pieces. Okay, so this is the forward part of the tongue. Up front here, you can see it's already been drilled for the ball coupler and uh, I believe this might be for the uh, safety chain. And then here in the back, you can see they've already, already drilled the four holes that are necessary for the swing away tuck coupler. And the same thing goes for this piece in the back. This is the part that'll go into the frame. You can see the four holes here. And then uh, the holes that are necessary to hold it in place in the frame. So there's the front hole and the back hole. Okay, so I've hit the uh, ends of the U-bolt with some bow shield, which is a uh, spray lubricant uh, kind of thing, the anti-corrosion spray, which uh, hopefully will block uh, or help uh, loosen up some of the, the corrosion. Uh, let it sit for about uh, three or four minutes, and I'm about to uh, give it a whack. I've got a, a three-quarter inch socket at the end of my half-inch drive, and let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's good. Um, so it looks like that one was pretty easy. That's a good sign. Normally these things are, take a lot more leverage. I don't have a breaker bar handy, but I've got a, uh, my torque wrench, which has got a, uh, about an 18 inch handle. So I'll use that if I have to. Oh, oh this one's coming off much easier. Okay, good job. Okay, that's good. I think I'm in pretty good shape. In just a few minutes, we'll have the whole assembly off. The other thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to basically uh, disconnect the boat from the winch. I'm assuming there might be a little bit of tension on there, and I don't want the uh, winch stand to move too much when I take it off. The other thing I forgot to do, uh, which I'll do right now, is I need to make sure I put the winch stand in the same spot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my little trusty uh, tape measure and uh, mark it off. So the winch stand, the back edge of the winch stand is 12 inches uh, from the back edge of this cross member. Okay, so that, that way I'll have the boat balanced in the same spot. Got the winch stand released from the boat. So now once I finish removing the U-bolts, I should be able to just lift the stand off and I should be all, all set. Then the next step would be to take this back bolt off and then we'll be able to slide the, the tongue out. So there's one rusted U-bolt off, second one, and now that means we should be able to take off the winch stand without a problem. Here he goes. Okay, so we've run into snag number one, and uh, it's not really a big thing. I've just got to go off to home. Oh, sorry, the local hardware store to uh, get a new tool. So it turns out, I should have thought of this before, but the, uh, I don't have a one inch socket, so I can't remove the end bolt right now. And uh, I may also go and get a breaker bar too, because I tried this with a pipe wrench a little while ago, and it's pretty tight. So I think of all the pieces that we've got so far, this is probably going to be the sticking point. Um, so it's off to and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes.